together like rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. Extrinsic back muscles both inferior to the levator. Dorsal scap innervates. That's the way it'll be. Trapezius elevates, retracts, depresses, and rotates scapula. It's innervated by spinal accessory nerve. Ain't that great? Rotates mis dorsi. Wraps around to the humerus. Floor of the groove. When we move further deep, the right your spiny meets the ribs from spinous processes. We've got a spinalis and our lunges of this. And lateral is our iliocostalis. Deep to erectoris transversus spinalis, semi-spinalis being most superficial, vertebrae spanning four to six. Then we have multifidus along the whole spine, two to four vertebrae to span this time. Finally, the rotatoris in thoracic region. From one to two vertebrae, they're making insertions. And just when you thought we were at the end, a final group called segmental enters in. Between spinous processes or interspinalis, transverse to transverse or intertransversari. A lateral to the ribs, you'll find levator cost arm. And there you have it, the muscles of the back. Standing on the vertebral column. Without these muscles, our bodies couldn't move in anatomical position. Next time you're at the gym, make sure to name all your muscles. Oh, oh.